Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and you're watching my side channel, Side Noob, and today we're going to look at this, well, French individual reheatable compact ration menu number nine. Uh, I mean, this is the box. I've removed already the big plastic wrapper that came around it to make it waterproof, I guess. And yeah, I mean, uh, we've got one in pretty good date, actually, a couple of years. So it should be nice and fresh. All sorts of things going on here. Just looking at the list of stuff. Um, we've got some pork, rice and pineapple, a cassoulet, it sounds delicious, I love a cassoulet, uh, deer pate, soup, processed cheese, there's always some processed cheese isn't there? Salt and sweet biscuits, tea coffee chocolates, some nougat, fruit jelly energy bars, muesli isotonic drink powders, chocolate bars, jam, packets of tissues, reheating kits, I mean and then you water purifying tablets. I mean, it's all really good. How do we open this one then? Um, from the outside in. Okay, let's have a look. What do we get? Well, that didn't work out as well as I thought. Okay, more or less right. Oh, okay, first thing that hits me is it actually looks like real products. I know that's a stupid thing to say, but you know, things you actually buy down the supermarket. That music looks really awesome. Um, are those like chocolate biscuits? They kind of really nice. Okay, that's cool. A soup, we'll have a look at that. Uh, more isotonic drinks, we'll make that up as well. I've seen this, I swear I've seen this in another country's combat rations, that, that, that actual make, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. Got some jam. Various bars, we've got some nougat, a little bit of nougat. Bar Commando, Fruits Rouge, red fruit chew bar thing. I don't know, have a look at that, it's a nice snack. Look at the snacks all together at some point. I take it this is a little pouch of um, coffees, teas, etc. Oh, just been hit with a big waft of mint, so I guess there's some go in there or, or just mint tea yes look green tea with mint <laughs> that's a, yeah yeah that's that's what it was so no chewing gum okay it looks like some hot chocolate normal black tea ah perfect salt and pepper you should get one and sometimes not the other uh what's this oh, so not looking forward to that I mean, you know, it is a French ration kit. These are normally very good. This is coffee. I'll give it a go. A couple of salt and peppers, that's really great. Um, I'll give that a go. Just normally the coffee in these is awful. And sugar, sugar and coffee, that's how I have it. So, all right, all right, I, I'm up for that, I'm up for that. Pack of tissues, lovely. Put that out of the camera shot. Not too worried about that. Same with the little camping stove thing. Um, I'm doing it indoors, so I won't need to do that. What's this? This is the, oh, pâté de cerf à la armagnac. Um, cool. So I guess one of these is the, oh, that's the cheese stuff and that's the um, deer pâté, I guess. More chew bars and stuff. I love these. Ah, café. Is that coffee flavoured? I don't like coffee flavoured stuff really. I love, love coffee, don't like coffee flavouring. I know, I know. I oh, know, don't at me. Ah, oh, do you know what? <laughs> I'm looking forward to both of these so much. All right, I'm actually genuinely hungry. This is actually my lunchtime. I'm I'm so looking forward to this. Um, where we're going to start? I think we need to start with. Um... Oh, is this salted and sweet biscuits? Okay, right. I think we need to start with the kind of drinks and biscuits and pate type things, and then we'll move over to. Um, probably the soup and then main meals and then sort of snacky things. Yeah, let's do that. So that's actually, um, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a lot more drinks than I actually thought there would be. I don't know where to start. Probably the cold drinks, I'm a bit thirsty. This is the, uh, where's this one? Isotonic drink and it says on here that it's a mango tea flavor. Now, I actually really love iced teas. So I'm hoping it's a bit like a mango iced tea type thing. It's relatively clear actually for um, an isotonic drink. They normally have that wonderful scum um, on floating on top, but mm. 
Oh wow, that is insanely sweet, but um, I was really looking forward to that. That's all right, it just tastes like sugar water with a hint, a hint of something mango-y. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, I mean, it's all right, I, I'd definitely drink it, but yeah, out of five, going, you know, five being a really nice, like, mango-flavoured black iced tea, I mean, that's got to be a two, I mean, that's, that's, that's nowhere up there. And I don't think the French really do milk in tea, uh, or at least not commonly. I don't think so. Hey, if anybody from France is watching, correct me. Have to be corrected. But this is just a normal sort of black tea. I, I don't mind black tea. Drinking out of um, I can't see if I tip it up. You won't be able to. It's my Moomin, my Moomin mug. But because it's metal, this is almost <laughs> it's too hot to drink from. Yeah, it's a really nice black tea, actually. In terms of tea, um, it's actually not bad. Yeah. Okay, so if that's a 2 out of 5, this is definitely a 4 out of 5. It's not, like, the best, strongest British tea, but it's all right. Uh, where do we go to next? Um, uh, mint tea. Mint tea. Why not? Let's do some mint tea. I'm trying to do it in order of um, s strength of drink flavour. Okay, so this is a, a mint tea. Again, looks all right. Smells good. Yep, another four out of five. Not the best one I've ever had, but it's certainly pretty nice. And I like a mint tea, but I prefer it with fresh leaves. I know, posh, right? Uh, coffee, let's go for a coffee. Black coffee, just made it with um, probably half of one of those sugar pouches. So that was the, the mint tea there. It's quite nice, fair trade. Fair trade as well, look, there you go. Same with the, um, same with the black tea. Um, okay, let's have a go. So this is a coffee, here you go. Again, fair trade, very good. 100% Arabica. Okay, please be good, I love a coffee. Yeah, it's all right, middle of the road. It's, it's, it's probably a three and a half out of five. Um, yeah, I would actually drink that, I will, I'll drink, yeah. Some of these, obviously, I, I might not drink all of, but I'm probably definitely gonna drink all that coffee. I need the coffee right now. Um, okay, okay, ooh, uh, I've got to do the soup first. So this one, it's looking at the ingredients. It doesn't say an awful lot. It's basically, basically it's like mostly some potato starch with a couple of veggies in there. Well, it looks like sugar, salt, onion, and um, milk protein and colorant. The thing is, right, what do they colour it to be? I mean, if I, I mean, do they have like a spare bucket of beige or something? I mean, surely if it's a vegetable soup. I mean, look at the packet, nice and vibrant and green. Look at the soup, not nice and vibrant and green. Packet soup, packet soup. How? No, just I mean, if you're going to add colouring, I mean, go for it, right? Don't don't just do whatever this is. Uh, anyway, so. It's, Well, I'll take it back. Okay, it's a bit salty, but I like that. And it's a bit fake, but it is quite nice. It's like, you shouldn't like it, because it's clearly not a high-quality thing, but it's actually really... Oh, it's quite nice, actually. Oh, that reminds me of the soups I used to buy when I was a student. Yeah, surprisingly nice, despite its weird beigeness. And whatever those lumps are. What are those? Look, look at this. Is that appetising? Mmm, black lumps. Is that pepper? I'm not sure. It's just, it could be pepper or some over-dried vegetable. It's really hard to tell, isn't it? But it's just, yeah. I mean, it tastes nice, but I think it's maybe just the salt. I don't know. Hard to say. But right now, my mood is telling me that's a 3 out of 5. Weirdly better than the mango stuff, which I actually thought was going to be nice. Um... So, yeah, the last one is the hot chocolate, which looks a bit, it's more like cocos. It doesn't have much milk type stuff in it. Um, what does it say on the packet? Okay, it's got powdered cream and various other bits in sugar, cocoa powder. So it's got some kind of like m milk product in there, but it's, again, it's a bit, can you see that? It's just a bit watery, isn't it? Let's have a taste. 
it's all right. It's a, it's a, that's a three. It's a three and a half out of five. It's just not sort of thick enough or creamy enough to be a and a really good hot chocolate. But it's okay. Um, all right. So I think that we've got our drinks there. I've got over here a bit of a knife and fork. They didn't. They didn't come with any utensils at all. This you can heat stuff up. It, again, it's one of those kits that you assume it's got. It assumes you have utensils. Let's go for the cheese and the pate. Little starter. Oh, look at that. So it's not like a super smooth one. It's actually got lumps of stuff. That's actually really, really encouraging. And whilst I'm not a big fan of processed cheese, he looks very, very pleased with himself. He's like, look what I made in this tin. Look what I did. We chef. Yeah, I don't know why I'm smiling. I mean, it's all right. Um, no butter. I expected a bit of burr from the French, but there we go. I suppose you can't have everything. Um, I want to save the sweet ones to have a bit of jam on. So I'm taking, I've got a couple of savory ones here. Savory, savory, sweet, sweet, sweet. And, ah, so it, it's sandwiched, look, they sandwiched um, some sweet ones in, in between a whole bunch of savoury. I'm actually glad with that. It's good to have a, um, a balance like that, I think. Here we go. Right. Um, oh, let's go for the cheese. A perfect imprint of the tin lid. Can you see that? Anyway, there we go. Let's not mess about. Let's actually get some on the fork, uh, knife. You know, you're gonna taste it. You must well taste it, eh? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 Do you know what? It's not very strong, but it has less of that weird processed cheesy flavour, which I don't really like. That's actually quite pleasant. I shall prove it. I shall have some more. Look at this. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, oh yeah. Okay. Okay, Mr. Chef, I, I take it back. No wonder you got that smirk on your face. Your cheese is palatable, sir. We oui, chef. Okay, here we go. The biscuits, by the way, aren't like, maybe I've got the wrong ones, but they have a certain sweetness to them. Um, they're not horrible, but that pate looks good, doesn't it? Let's have a go. Mmm. 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 Not gonna lie. That's better than most supermarket patties I bought. That's really good. Let's whack a bit more on. If you're gonna eat, right? You've got to actually eat. You can't like nibble around the corners, can you? Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Now, while we're here, I'm gonna go at the biscuits. Let's try the sweet ones with a bit of um, strawberry jam on. Strawberry jam, yeah. There we go. Again, no messing about. Looks, it's very smooth. I would like that as a kid. Um. I'm sort of regretting having that with the chocolate biscuit thing underneath. Um, I think the plain ones are even better. The chocolate's all right, but I don't think it goes well with strawberry jam. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll eat it, right? But, you know, ow. So. Summing up the entrees, what we're going to have. Black tea. Four out of five, mango thing, two out of five, soup thing, 
three out of five. Coffee stuff, three and a half out of five. I may change my mind about that. Mint stuff, four out of five. Cocoa stuff, I'm gonna have another go at this, hold on. Ah, three out of five. Pate, five out of five. Cheese, Wee Chef is, for a processed cheese, four out of five. Jam, five out of five, it's jam, who cares. Savoury biscuits, three out of five. Sweet biscuits, two and a half. I mean, they're, they're all right, but they're not really like a cookie. They're, they're just like a savoury biscuit with some chocolate stamped in it, so yeah. Right, what's next? I reckon I'm gonna go make myself some, a massive bowl of muesli. Okay, admissions time, I, I was an idiot, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, on this it says, add water, to this line, so you could use this as a pouch. Now I'll put it in a bowl because it's easier to see. But the reason I say add water is it's already got skim milk powder in it, so it makes up its own milk. I was on autopilot, I put milk in this, so it's gonna be like extra milky, but can we just look at how much chocolate is in this? I mean, this already has 400 calories per serving, uh, probably due to these uh, chocolatey bits. That is a lot, I mean, that is, look at, look at this, look at that. That is so much chocolate. I'm, I'm just going to go for this, ready? Mmm. Do you know what? Adding milk, not water, not hurting it. Mmm. -hmm. Now I've got to chew my way through a load of raw oats. Hold on. Ah. Right, finally. So, one thing we learned, muesli, not great to taste test on camera. That You need to chew it too much. But, really nice. If you let the water, whatever, soak in, it's making like a chocolatey milk. Actually really, really good. Very high calories, you can taste the sugar in it. But I'm not gonna fault it, that's a good four out of five. Um, I'm giving it a benefit of the doubt about taste because I added milk, not water, but as it stands, pretty nice. That's but so much chocolate. Okay, so, um, oh, do I go for the pork creole with um, ananas, a pineapple, is that pineapple? Yeah, or the classic cassoulet. Um, I'm gonna go for this. It actually looks quite appetizing. I mean, you know, for a tin dinner. I've, I've been to France quite a bit, and I have to say that the French are superb at uh, their food preservation stuff so all the tins and jars are super high quality compared to stuff in the UK for the most part. So we've got courgette here, got some courgette, it's actually too hot to hold, loads of pork, I think that's some pineapple there and here, probably some pepper, I don't know if it's going to be hot or anything, um, it, like, like spicy, let's have a go. Mm, okay. Mm. Maybe a smidgen of salt and a little bit of pepper. There's no chili sauce in this whole uh, kit. Don't know if the French really do chili sauce. I taste the sweetness of the pineapple. Try some pork on its own. Um, let's get a big mouthful of all the pork. I'm, I'm a, I, I don't know how to you see that. Don't know how to say about this on whole. Mm. Okay, so for tin pork, it's really good. Mmm. The rice, surprisingly, is a it's a bit soft, but it's not overdone. Try some veggies on their own. Mmm num num. No flavour. Is there some pineapple in there? A bit of pineapple. Uh, okay. I wouldn't go to a restaurant and buy that, but we're not in a restaurant. So, I mean, actually, think, of, think about it. What you're getting here is really good. You have some really decent pork, nice bit of rice, peppers and veg, pineapple. It's got a mild curry flavour. I'd eat that all day long if I was on a march or hungry. 
I mean, they're genuinely not bad at all. Now I'm actually looking forward to the cassoulet because these are normally very good, normally a pork sausage or a Toulouse sausage, which is like pork and cured um, uh, bacons, uh, a duck and, and, and other sausages. So let's have a go at this one. A bit of cross-contamination. Look at that big bit of, um, I'm assuming duck here. Could be pork shoulder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it duck column. It does say au canard, so um, it does have some duck in it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I actually, um, when I was in France, I used to buy a lot of tinned cassoulet. Because uh, some of them are absolutely epic. And, um, and, and really nice. With these, uh, cannellini beans and things. Um, or are they flash liver? Oh, I can't bother to read it. Well, I'm holding this really hot bowl. Let's try a bit of the sausage. There's only one bit of sausage in here. That's a bit of a bit of a bummer. I hope it's nice. Yeah. Oh, well, let's let's um, let's have a look. See if there's anything I can read in this. Oh, haricot beans. Sorry, haricot. Um. Oh, Toulouse sausage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Ah, oh, the uh, confit duck, eight percent, and some smoked sausage. So I had the smoked sausage. That was good. The duck's perfectly fine for tinned duck. Um, let's try a bit of the Toulouse sausage. Get a bit in the middle here. Now to show you the texture. Toulouse sausage, fresh Toulouse sausage is amazing. Uh, let's have a go at this. Mmm. Do you know what, that extra kind of like bacon-iness from the sausage, really good. Mmm. 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 Mm. Okay. I am biased because I really like cassoulet from tins. It's one of my things. But since it's my review, I'm going to give it a five because I can. Genuinely tasty as heck. That. I don't know what I said earlier, if I said anything at all. But I'm going to give it a, a four, Be, uh, and, and I have to give this one a four as well, as we said. But but I think I have to give that a four. That is clearly delicious. That is pretty tasty, but it's not bad. It needs to be maybe a bit spicier. But other than that, yeah, all good. And that's no worse than any uh, tin cassoulet I've ever had. In fact, I'd say that that smoked sausage and the duck were really really tasty. It's dessert time. Okay, I've got no idea where to start, so we're gonna start here and just go left to right. So this is pâté de fruit. Is this like compressed fruit bar? Just like, ah, oh, I love these. Yeah, this is awesome. They're like, um, uh, if in the UK you get something called soft fruits um, and they're amazing. So I, I, this better be good. Oh, that's amazing. Five out of five, delicious. Mmm. I've got to be careful. I've got to save that for a bit later because I'll I'll just destroy this. What's this one? It says cafe. Um. Again, I, I like coffee. Don't like coffee flavored things. I've got some coffee left over. Here it is. So a little sip of coffee. <sighs> Not bad actually. Better after cooling down. Get into this. Okay, okay. Ugh. What is it? What is that? Oh, do you know what? I was expecting something like wafers inside. This is like spongy protein bar stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm eating it. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Zero. I don't know what the hell that was. That's disgusting. It tasted like the worst white chocolate and coffee protein bar I've ever had in my entire life. Wow. That is vile. Ha that, that was a really bad choice to have after this. This is like a solid five. That's a zero. Go away. And I'm not even going to put it in camera shot anymore. That's disgusting. I bet somebody out there who's, who, who, when they ever get their rations are like swapping out all 
all, all of these for those, but uh, okay. Nougat, it's a bit wet looking, but that isn't necessarily bad. Got all the dried fruit and stuff in here. It's a three. Not even touching good nougat. It's alright. Oh no. There's another commando bar. Oh, I can feel it. I can't even tell what it's supposed to be good about this. It's just supposed to be like a an energy bar of some kind. Oh, what, what, what on earth is that? What is this stuff? It's just like compacted stuff. Oh, please don't make me eat this. Um. Uh, God. Okay. I mean, uh, oh. I mean, you have to give it like a one, just because. Ah. Oh. oh no. Please no. That's that's just too gross. Um. Ah, oh, no. This is it's a one, but wow, it's awful. Oh, fair trade black chocolate. That can't be bad. It looks good quality stuff too. It really does. Seventy percent cocoa. Uh, after that, this is gonna be a real treat. So go. Mmm. Mmm. Bit of coffee. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Has a slight talkiness of seven percent cocoa. That goes into that. Um, almost sour bitterness. Yeah, that's really good. I, I'm not a big dark chocolate fan, but I'm going to give that a four and a half. <clears throat> Sorry, hit the back of my throat there. I'm going to give it a four and a half because it is clearly good quality stuff and it's pretty tasty. So, yeah. So it's going to be like, what was it, five, five, five? Zero for the thing we cannot talk about. Three, one for this abomination that you can stay in camera shot this one time. And then four and a half for this very nice dark chocolate. Okay, let me conclude it all. So that was menu number nine. And I've had a look through all of this stuff and, and, and decided what I think are my favourites. If I had to, if I had one of these ration packs, and we're all swapping about. What would I be like trying to swap other people for? Um, the muesli, surprisingly nice. This fruit bar, absolutely amazing. The cassoulet, can't wait to keep eating that. Just really good. If you've never had a good tin cassoulet, go try one. Uh, then we got the the processed cheese and the pate, surprisingly good with the with these biscuits. And then the black tea is, is perfectly fine. I think for everything else, it's sort of mixed. It's average. Um, Mm. Sorry, I need more tea. Um, it's mixed, it's sort of uh, some average stuff, some good stuff. But overall, overall, I'm actually really impressed. These French rations are easily some of the best 24-hour uh, MREs you can get. Uh, yeah, I, 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 having had quite a few recently, these are really up there, really up there. And, um, you know, I, I, I would say to our MOD, have a look. France then hang your head in shame because our MREs that I've tried recently are way way worse than these way worse anyway hope you enjoyed that I had a great fun uh, uh, looking through this ration pack and um, I'm gonna carry on eating now so hopefully you enjoyed that if you like the video leave a like if you have comments about the video leave a comment I read them all I reply to as many as I can if you haven't subscribed to this side channel please go do so right now and um, of course I'll see you over on my main channel next time